hello youtube hello guys you're welcome back to my channel on this video i'll be sharing with you a website that can help you out with the use of colors so recently i created a community post on my youtube channel where i was actually asking designer creatives uh, what are their major challenges okay and from the poll here is showing that uh, most people were rooting for layout challenges they were having issues with layouts most people were having issues with the use of colors okay so in this video i'll be sharing with you how to use color in the most simplest way so without further ado let's dive into this video so the name of this website is called canva.com forward slash colors forward slash color hyphen wheel to be precise that's the name of the website over here we are currently on the dashboard of the website and over here on the right hand side you can see we have the colorway over here and over here as well it says pick a color you can actually pick your color manually okay by playing with the slider or you can actually place in the hex code of the color over here over here as well we have different varieties of uh, color uh, color schemes over here you can make use of the different variety complementary monochromatic analogous triadic and tetradic color scheme over here okay so i'll be working you through on how to actually do this so here i have complementary actually selected i can actually choose to pick a shade of this color here this green over here or i can actually choose to paste in the hex code of the color here and it will actually give me the color that actually complements this if i intend to make use of a complementary color scheme in my design okay over here we have this color and this is the opposite of the color in the color way that is color that are actually opposite each other uh complementary color and over here here's the hex code for the color here you can see the same hex code here and here is a hex code for the color that actually complements it across the color wheel to be precise moving on you can also choose to click on the monochromatic which is the one color scheme and you can choose to pick any color of your choice and copy out the hex code but the difference in uh the monochromatic here has to do with uh difference in saturation and lightness okay we have actually picked a color but it actually gives us uh, a particular color but a different shade in that particular color that is a single color but a different value of it either a lighter value or a darker value here we have the actual color we just picked here is the hex code over here and here is a lighter value that will actually work well with this particular value of color we just picked so you can just copy it and make use of it when creating any design of your choice so moving on we also have another color scheme which is called the analogous this has to do with uh, three colors that are side by side each other on the color wheel here i can choose to pick a color of this nature like this okay and coming over here here is the actual color of the first color we picked and here are the hex code this is the original color here is the colors that are actually side by side those colors in the color wheel and you can actually implement this in your design and finally i think i'll be making use of the triadic that is three colors that are equally spaced in the color wheel okay you can actually rotate them or pick a particular color and it will show you the colors that are actually complementing it you can see the rgb actually comes up here okay they are equally spaced so i can play furthermore like this and i will have something like this and here are the color oh yes the, uh, the main color we just picked over here and here there are various hex code you can actually pick it up and use it on your design and finally the final uh color scheme we have here is the tetradic which are four color schemes that are actually equally spaced out on the color way so over here i can just pick a color like this and you can see these are four colors that are equally spaced out like this and moving on here you can see the actual hex code for the green value we picked and you can have it over here similarly you have the various hex code for the remaining three colors over here at this other end 
So ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this video. If you find this video helpful, do well to give it a like. Do well to smash that like button right away, guys, so that the YouTube algorithm can suggest this content to other creatives and other designers on the YouTube search engine. Please, this is the only way you can actually support me. And if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please do well to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content. And if you're a returning subscriber, guys, thank you for always watching. And please and please, if you have any questions or comments, do well to leave your questions and comments in the comment section. And see you in the next.